If you don't want to screw up taking pictures of the upcoming total lunar eclipse, here's what you need to do. The last one was three years ago, so it's important to be ready to capture the magic during the precious amount of time when totality occurs. For those of you who aren't familiar with what's the big deal, it's when the moon passes into Earth's shadow and appears to turn red. It's science. To get precise and planned shots of the lunar eclipse aligned with a landmark will take some preparation. Using planning apps like Photopills or Planet, you can map out what building you want your composition to be made up of. These kinds of apps are the key to nailing the shot with the moon, sun, and astrophotography with the Milky Way. The main con is they're pretty technical, but like all things technology, it's just about getting used to the user interface with practice. If you don't want to photograph an alignment and just want to shoot the moon, then simply point your camera towards the sky and wait for totality. A telephoto lens is recommended since you're shooting from a relatively far location, and if you want to capture the details of the craters, the more focal length, the better. Since it'll be dark out, a tripod is recommended. For settings, the aperture should be at a wide depth of field like f8 in order to keep most of your shot in focus. Shutter speed is a variable that you can experiment with. While preferred to be closer to 100, I've been pushing ISO higher because I really need the light.